very passionate entrepreneurs and persevering farmers. It has been a very fascinating journey to me and very satisfying one. I hope one of you or many of you will take that journey up and create your own businesses. Uh, to get me started, I guess I will introduce my fellow panel members here. I'll start with uh, Barry Shaviro. Barry is the Director of Project Development and Marketing at Equisat, uh, the International Crops Research Institute for Semi-Arid Tropics. And I think it is one of the well-known uh, research institutes all over the world. Uh, Barry also serves as the President of Equisat's Technology Innovation Center and Managing Director of its AgriScience Park. AgriScience Park is a partnership between Equisat and the private industry that promotes the commercialization of improved agricultural inputs and technologies developed through research and development to expand dry land food production and farm and improve farmers' incomes. I think there's some very important research work that's going on out there. We'd love to hear from Barry on uh, some of his projects. Uh, Dr. Barry will soon be joining CNFA, a business development NGO, as Senior Vice President for Programs in Washington, D.C., effective February 1, 2009. So he'll be leaving us soon, but I hope we can capitalize on his knowledge and experience uh, in the next few months. Uh, Barry asked me to share with you that uh, even though he's not a political person and he's an independent, today he's very proud of his country that he has elected its first African-American president 50 years after African-American <laughs> He says that this shows America at its best. He asked that we all pray for President Obama, that he has the wisdom and the strength to be a global citizen and leader. And by the way, Barry has asked all of us to call him Barack. <laughs> uh, to uh, the left of uh, Barry is Mr. Uh, W.R. Reddy. W.R. Reddy, Mr. Reddy has, let uh, me just try to find out his bio. Yeah, he's an ICE officer uh, who has held many important positions in agriculture and allied fields in the government of India. Uh, he was most recently the Joint Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture. Being from a farming family, his, his personal passion is to improve the lives of the farming community. He wants to strive to take the farming activity into a higher level of profitability. Being a farmer, he is very well concerned conversant with the lives of the farmers and the potential profits. He is also very knowledgeable about the policy setting in agriculture, both nationally and internationally. He has led, I thought he sent me his bio yesterday, and the number of achievements and the number of things that he has just done is just amazing. I just quote a few. Uh, for example, some of the things that he has done uh, uh, include promoting agriculture market reforms to enable private investors, direct marketing, and contract farming. I guess some of the key policies to create scalable businesses. Uh, he has uh, been involved in the implementations of various schemes of agriculture um, marketing infrastructure. He has made the policies for perishable exports, modern terminal markets as well. Learning a number of different important issues that he has dealt with hands on. Uh, he has an, an interesting background. He's actually a doctorate in agriculture. So I think that puts him in a very unique position to talk and actually think about very specific issues that deal with agriculture. Uh, here. Thank you, Mr. Reddy. To the left of uh, Mr. Reddy is Rajiv. Uh, Rajiv Samant is one of New India's entrepreneurial stars. Uh, at the peak of his career, as one of the youngest finance managers of Oracle in San Francisco, uh, Rajiv, uh, who is a Stanford graduate, returned home to India with a seemingly crazy idea of growing grapes and making wine. This was over four years back. Uh, despite the great deal of initial resistance, the wine business in India was practically non-existent and getting a winery license was difficult. Rajiv's dream to craft a good wine in India has quickly become a reality. His distinctly Californian philosophy of a winery open to the public has sparked a wine revolution and today Nashik is India's wine capital with 30 wineries producing more than 75% of India's wine. That's an amazing concentration. I think Raji was spearheading the entire revolution of mass wines. Uh, today, Sula has firmly established itself as India's leading premium wine brand. 
And uh, Rajiv says that the only person, perhaps, who has a better job than him is Hugh Hefner. <laughs> uh, there's an interesting anecdote that Rajiv also shared with me, with me that uh, when he went back to Nashik uh, from uh, California, uh, and started his winery and growing grapes. Apparently, a couple of his aunts visited him and said, Daddy, you know what? Your grandfather uh, actually grew wines about 40 years back. And uh, he said, oh, is that so? And, and afterwards, I went after a few days, he talked to his dad and said, Dad, you never told me uh, that your dad, in fact, did the whole business. He said, at the right time, I want to let you know, now that you have uh, created a family legacy, you'll be very successful, actually. So in fact, he had unknowingly carried on the traditions of his grandfather to grow grapes and wines in Assam. Thank you, Raj, for coming. <laughs> to the left of uh, uh, Rajiv is uh, Rajshikar Reddy uh, Sila. Um, Rajshikar, uh, Rajshikar has a management degree from Ayan on the Bad. Uh, he actually left his well-rounded career uh, with a private company selling pesticide seeds and fertilizers to start his own venture growing and selling natural byproducts. His venture, Shrestha Natural Byproducts, started not just because of the entrepreneur within, but because of his interest in the larger good of the society. The idea was to provide organic food products to consumers and to introduce a healthy practice among the farmers by encouraging them to take up <coughs> organic farming. Uh, Selim has uh, already uh, done this in about uh, 25,000 acres. Uh, with contract farming with about 1,200 farmers, and now has spread across 22 major cities. Uh, this venture actually is very personal uh, to Mr. Raj Shaker. Coming from a farming background again, he knows the plight of farmers and the impact of non-organic food, especially on health. Uh, in fact, his father died of cancer, and he, in fact, that propelled him to say that there has to be a different way of consumption, there has to be a different way of sustainable agriculture. Uh, he's out there to change the world. His life, his passion, and his work all melt together. To the left of uh, Raj Shaker, we have Utpal Sen Gupta. Uh, Utpal uh, uh, is a graduate of uh, IIT uh, Kharagpur and also an MBA from Ahmedabad. Uh, he has worked in Hindustan River for many years and has had many positions there. And uh, he joined Conagra in 1997 and is currently the vice chairman of the company. He is an avid photographer, and he actually likes to call himself an enthusiastic amateur. And when I was talking to him and asked him which are the places he has traveled, he has traveled to many, many exotic places, uh, including the Kruger National Park, various national parks in India, in Bhutan, Nagaland, and the list goes on. I think he has a very interesting hobby. Uh, and uh, we all look forward to hearing from them about uh, their experiences, about the potential and hopefully leave you with some inspiring thoughts going forward. Let me just uh, uh, invite Barry um, to come over and share his, some of his thoughts. What we do actually is that we have every panelist talk about five minutes about their company, their organization, and some idea of some high level opportunities. Then we will dig down and uh, ask very specific questions uh, to the panelists. Thank you. Right.